Hello, International Schools. Today we are sharing the contents of a first aid kit that keeps us safe. Let's start off with the basics. First, you should have an available list of phone numbers and allergies nearby. Our school nurse has a binder full of every student's contact info, allergies, and medications that they are allowed to take. One thing that is important is that you check the kit regularly. If you don't do this, things in your kit could become expired, and when you need something, you can, can't use it. The first thing you need is a flashlight and extra battery. Let's talk about what you need to be safe when applying your contents. Here's a list of all the applying contents. Five antiseptic white jackets, one space blanket, two pairs of non-latex gloves, scissors, one oral thermometer, one set of tweezers, and one first aid instruction booklet. The antiseptic white packets cleans cuts, wounds, abrasions, and scrapes. The space blanket is for use when someone is too cold. It is a light blanket that still keeps in the heat. Gloves are used to protect someone from body fluids that can transfer diseases. Scissors are used for cutting gauze to the appropriate length. An oral thermometer is used to take the temperature of someone if they feel like they have a fever. A tweezer can get out a splinter or ticks. The regular contents include two absorbent compress dressings, 25 adhesive bandages, one adhesive cloth tape, five antibiotic ointment packets, two packets of aspirin, one breathing barrier, one instant cold compress, two hydrocortisone ointment packets, one roller bandage, bandage three inches wide, one roller bandage, four inches wide, five sterile gauze pads, three by three, and five sterile gauze pads, four by four. And finally, two triangular bandages. You can find the uses of all of these in your booklet, but most of them are self-explanatory. This is everything that you need to have in your first aid kit as well. You never know when a disaster can hit. Make sure you're prepared.